Open up those wallets, everyone. It's time for Comic-Con exclusives. Let's look at the 25 best ones. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with a whole new video. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about Comic-Con exclusives. Ooh. Just feel my blood starting to boil already. Exclusives. Even hate the word now. Used to love them. And to my shock when doing this video, there's a damn lot of exclusives coming to Comic-Con. And I don't understand the word exclusive anymore because a lot of these toys will be available on the websites of the companies. Some of them will even be at stores. And some of them will be released at other cons throughout the year. Funko is really good at doing that. They will release a Comic-Con exclusive and then resell it as a summer convention exclusive. But it's basically the same thing. Maybe a box a little different. They're really, really I feel it. You didn't come here to hear me rant and complain. You came here for me to tell you about the 25 best Comic-Con exclusives. So let's take a look at them. But... Before we get started, as always, like to support this channel, go over to patreon.com or head over to thatjunkman.com and buy some cool t-shirts. With that said, let me move my table back because it's shaking the camera. With that said, let's get to and look at the 25 best Comic-Con exclusives. Let's go. And here we go. Here's one we're going to start off with. The Hulk, part of the Marvel 80th anniversary. Here he is. Six inches of Hulk. Can be yours. For $35. $20 figure for $35. 20 is overpriced if you ask me. Oh well, what else do we have? Probably the dumbest of them all. Darth Vader Pride. Well, actually, they say it's based on prototype colors. I don't know what it's really based on or where they came up with this is, but it is god-awful and stupid. Sorry. That's my personal opinion. How much would this god-awful Darth Vader set you back? $13. Not that bad, being that the retro figures are $10 at Target, so $13 is not really that overpriced. Ugh. Next, if you love turtles and you love the Ninja Turtles, what could be better than a Ninja Turtle pizza? And here it is. Pretty cool. I don't really dig on the Ninja Turtles, but here they are. The figures come on a pizza and in a pizza box. This here pizza box by Super 7, don't worry, you can pick it up for only $75. That runs you about $18 a figure, which I guess is a little cheaper than they probably sell at the store, I would think. But you remember when you used to get box sets like this, and they kind of would give you one for free? That's why you bought the box set? Let's say you had four figures. They would actually cost about the price if you bought three figures. That's used to how they do box sets. That was the whole deal. You could buy each one separately, or if you bought the box set, you got a deal. You got a cheaper price on the figures. They really don't do that now. Especially if you find them at Target or Walmart, it probably costs you more than just buying the figures itself. But this piece of box is pretty cool. Next, when it comes to Legos, usually you have to take a loan out from the bank to buy any. But here's one that you probably can afford. It's a Lego Batman and Gotham City. It looks pretty cool. How much will this bad boy set you back? Well, believe it or not, for a Lego, only $45. Oh my, I tell you, there's one action figure I always wanted. One that I could slam it to a Slim Jim. And you can slam it to a Slim Jim with this right here. That's right, Randy the Macho Man Savage Slim Jim action figure. I'm not big on wrestling, but I think this is kind of cool. Is it $30 cool? Maybe so. Oh, yeah, brother, slam it to a Slim Jim. Next up, Mattel's Jurassic Park old man figure. Hold on, what's his name? I forgot his name. Uh, John Hammond. John Hammond action figure. This looks pretty cool. A nice little box for it. Comes with a little baby dinosaur. Ain't it cute? How much would John Hammond set you back? Only $15. You get an exclusive, a cool box. $15 seems about reasonable to me. Now, here's a two-pack. Not only do you get He-Man, you get his brother, Prince Adam. That's right, you get two figures. Well, I wouldn't say it's for the price of one. How much is this one? $40. You're paying about $20 a piece. Not that crazy, really. 
It comes with a pretty cool box. Comes with different heads that change all the figures and different hands. It's a pretty cool set, and I'm surprised it's only 30 bucks. But I know what you're saying. Junkman, give us more Ninja Turtle toys. And here we go, bad guys from the Ninja Turtles. Well, I don't think there's rats a bad guy. At least, that's my memory anyway. I never really watched the Ninja Turtles, but I don't think he is. Sure, you know that. But it's a teenage... This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 1994 Movie 4 Pack. How much will this one set you back? Don't worry. It's only going to cost you $125. So that's about $31 a figure. <sighs> Next. Now let's look at the Funko Pops. You know, they make a pop out of everything. Here he is, a Batman Pop. Don't really have much to say about him. I'm sure there's probably 50 Pops of Batman already. I don't have a price for this one, sorry. Uh, and speaking of Pops, this one is pretty cool here. I wouldn't mind picking this one up if I was at Comic-Con. Here it is, Office Space, and he's got poster notes stuck all over him. Isn't that funny? Well, let's look at the best Funko Pop probably coming out at Comic-Con. This one I would love to have. Check it out. Here it is. Quint being eaten by a shark. I love this. It looks pretty cool. And they actually put the blood on it. This day and age of family friendly, you're kind of surprised. But I like it. Let's look at something that's Star Wars related that's not a figure. Check this one out here. You can have your own Yavin medallion. You can act like you won this in the battle for Yavin. And it would only cost you $75. And now let's look at the one you've all seen. And here it is, the reddest of all Stormtroopers, the Sith Trooper Black Series action figure. Did a whole video on this yesterday, so really not much to go over. Not only is there a Black Series action figure, you can also get a Sith Trooper Funko Pop. Can you believe it? They made a pop of this? I can't believe it, because you know pops, they're so limited, they hardly ever make anything in pops. I can't believe they got the rights to do that one. Now, let's look at some stupid pops. And here they are, a green Yoda, well, I guess Yoda's always green, but kind of metallic looking green. I don't really understand what they're even going for here. But you can pick up Yoda or Boba Fett for some reason. But I know what you're saying. You're saying, hey, Junkman, what about the Ewok lovers? Well, if you love Ewoks and you love Christmas, here it is. An Ewok Christmas ornament of an Ewok on a speeder bike. Now that's pretty cool. And one that kind of takes homage to the old Kenner look. The action figure three pack for, and here it is. For fifty-four dollars, you get three small loose Skywalker action figures. These are not the tall Black Series six-inch figures. These are small figures, and they're eighteen dollars a piece. And here's one I really want, and I'm not gonna get it because I'm not gonna pay eBay prices for it, and I doubt I'm gonna be able to get it from Comic Con because I'm not gonna be there. That's pretty cool, and twenty-seven dollars isn't that outrageous when you think the figure in stores would be about twenty. But let's look over at Hot Wheels. Here's a very small mouse droid Hot Wheels car. Pretty cool, right? One thing I love about Hot Wheels, you can pick up the cheap ones for about 99 cents and some of the better sculpted ones for about $5. Don't worry, you can get this mouse droid Hot Wheels for $10 for a Hot Wheel car. What if you love Star Wars, but action figures just ain't your thing. But check out this. You can clip these to your backpack. It's three, well, two different Boba Fett and a Jango Fett. They're kind of cute. If I saw these for a dollar or two at the store, I think I might pick up the Boba Fett one. If you're at Comic-Con, you can pick all three up in this three-pack. Now let's close this video out by looking at Super 7, because they do some really cool retro figures. But let's start one that's not really retro, but it's an action figure line that you might like. Peanuts. That's right, Charlie Brown and his wacky friends are coming over to Comic-Con. And here they are, Super 7 Peanut action figure. One thing we all love to do back in the 80s that we don't admit that we did, Break dance. We all carried around a piece of cardboard with us and a big boom box just in case we felt like busting out some moves. So check it out. And here it is. Ozone, Special K, and Turbo from the Breaking movie. That probably no one hardly remembers, but it's still kind of cool. And one of the scariest people you'll ever see, Nosferatu. I just wanted to see if I could say his name. Nosferatu. Boy, is he scary. Look at all that blood. Ooh, scary, 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 scary. And here's another one for Super 7. I'm not really sure who Phantom Star Killer is, but look at him. I want him. I don't know who it is, what it is, what it's from, or anything. But I know one thing. I want it. 
And let's look at one more that I almost skipped for the Ghostbusters fan. Here it is. All four of the major heroes in a Ghostbusters box. Isn't that cool? This one's going to run you $80. Not that bad when you think they're $20 per figure. Metropole's Death of the Machines. Look at this droid. Pretty cool, right? And as you can tell by the card, it's in the style of a Power of the Force 1985 figure. Man, I would love to get my hands on that one. And that's a look at 25 of the best exclusives coming to Comic-Con. And there's a lot more out there, but this was the best I could find. At least once I thought was the best. It's not a scientific poll or anything. It's just 25 of them I thought was worth talking about. These are pretty cool. And you kind of got a dilemma here. I hate exclusives, but they got some on here like the Boba Fett that I really want bad. And that's how they get you. We know we don't like exclusives. We don't want to pay the price in the markup form. We don't want to have to fly across the country, get a hotel room, get a ticket into the convention, stand in a line that we might get an action figure that's overpriced or we might not just to get it. But... They get us because they released the cool stuff there. Ugh. But anyway, I'll save that for an upcoming video rant about how much exclusives gets my blood boiling. <sighs> anyway, thank you for watching. In the comments below, are you planning to get any of these? Where are you going to get? Or what do you think about exclusives? And as always, please subscribe to the channel. Hit thumbs up so I know you like my content and YouTube likes it also. And all that other stuff we talk about every time we come here. Fred, if you're not about to have the big one, Please, take us out of here. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.